At a House Veterans Affairs Committee hearing on artificial intelligence, Chairman Barrett of Michigan questioned Charles Worthington, the department's CTO and head of AI initiatives, about how AI can be applied to patient care and how patient data might be used to support a larger data set for broader public benefit. The large language model, kind of most stereotypical use of AI, we're gonna be looking at you know the, the millions of record that the VA has and then modeling patient outcomes from that and then looking kind of retrospectively to see where people are at on that spectrum today and say, well, if, if we know this condition led to 10 years later a, a worse condition over here, how can we stem that off uh, earlier? Um, if we allow a, a AI vendor to have access to that, to cultivate that knowledge, is that something that could be then used as an outgrowth in another way for like another, um, like as a research tool for other things? For example, if a person has a, a predisposition to kidney disease or diabetes or something like that, and we can look retrospectively at their health record to show that they had certain indicators ahead of time, wouldn't we want that to be to the benefit of all medicine and not just within the VA? Uh, yes, I, I think that as you're mentioning, in the training phase of models, which VA does occasionally do, that uh, if we work with a vendor, we make sure that the agreements say that any protected health information can only be used for that specific purpose that we have uh, contracted with. And often that's taking place in environments that VA already runs and controls. Now, when we're talking about using a, a large language model, uh, those are provided typically via one of the big cloud service providers. And those environments are uh, set aside in a VA boundary that uh, basically the vendor has to attest that they already meet VA security requirements. So when we're sending information to a large language model to get feedback back from that model, we're using a version of that model that has been made secure to meet government standards. Okay, and um, I will fully confess that I'm not an expert on this, but a, a, would a large, large language model allow a practitioner to say, I have a veteran presenting with these conditions, what are the risk factors that I ought to look for to maybe run tests that wouldn't ordinarily be otherwise um, top of mind. There could be a variety of AI approaches for a use case like that. For more congressional news, stay tuned to Congress Club.